Hey, everybody, welcome here with part 23 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Of course, we're in, going into the next section, which is going to be called the Cave of the GI. And as I stated in the previous video, we are going to be completing the Cave of GI. Uh, so this might be a lengthy video, depending on how it goes, of course. I will edit out some battles and things like that, of course. There is at least one enemy skill that we can get down here, and a couple of enemies can give this enemy skill to us. Of course, myself and I do believe Nikki both have enemy skill materials. Uh, unfortunately, Dolby doesn't, so that's okay. Um, anyway, this is the cave of the GI. I will try to 100% this cave, meaning that I will try to get all the items, or at least all the clickable items that are, you know, good. Oh good, I'm fighting the skewers. And these guys are one of the people that can give me the enemy skill that I'm looking for. And they can easily be manipulated into giving me that enemy skill. Oh, uh, skewer is one of the attacks, I should say. Geon Spectre is the name. Um, so, fire too. Oh yeah, and they are very, very weak to fire, if I'm right. And holy, I think. Um, uh, fire. And weak against holy power. Dead Sentence. So basically, Dead Sentence is, well, it puts the death status on you, and you have basically 60 seconds. Now, there is going to be things later in the game that can help you, I think, protect against death, of course. But now I have to actually cast that against uh, Nikki because of the fact that she needs to learn it. Yes, and unfortunately, there's not a third enemy skill yet in the game. I say yet. I think there's at least, I think there's four enemy skills in this game, but you can get more, uh, multiple ones, because you can master the enemy skills, so, in general. And I do believe that once you do that, you will receive a new, brand new one. Uh, this, the two snakes, you can't really, you can't learn anything from them. But, the guy in the back that's doing, that just did the uh, triple attack, he can also cast Death Sentence. So, yeah. Death is like a theme down here. If you haven't noticed. Ice 2. This should take them all out. Yeah. Oh, okay. It didn't take him out. Oh, now it did. Okay. At least the next battle will start off with a limit break from Doki. Which I probably will use because uh, I can probably get more limit breaks between now and any upcoming part. Usually when you break these rocks, they just give you enemies. Uh, oh, you guys again? Yeah, so I decided not to use the limit break. Because they are so easy to kill those guys, but fire! So I basically just caused fire two on them. Um, yeah, let's cure Dovey. He does need a little bit of he healing. Uh, yeah. Alright, and we're back. As you can tell, Lunatic High. I did decide to use the break, so Lunatic High is still level 1. Uh, break it open. Basically, you can, there's a way to open up the next part, and depending on which rock, rock you break, uh, like you get an enemy fight. But the one that I just opened is the one that you automatically have to use. A certain battle didn't disappear. And, ah, so a lot of people that are in here. I like former soldiers turning into monsters. The GI. Okay. Now, see this oil slick? You want to walk along the edges and you want to walk. You don't want to be holding the one button. Because you slip on the oil, it's not good. And we got the added effect material. So, let's check out the added effect material. Um. Yeah, it's just basically it adds material status to equipped weapon or armor. 
So if I pretty much put it on fire to uh, my weapon, then basically my weapon has fire to uh, fire capability. If I put it on, like say, fire to, and it was on my carbon mango, then it protects a bit against fire. You know, it will absorb fire, or it will uh, take less damage from fire attacks, things like that. It just doesn't go with fire too. It goes with other material too. So right now I'm gonna have it with lightning. So basically, uh, my attack is kind of lightning based. Yeah, I just use freaking. I think it was Chokemon. Shiva, things like that. Alright. It's pretty easy to gain levels here too, by the way. Um, so you wanna walk. Yeah, see? We slip. Now that time it didn't matter. Uh, and there's nothing up there. Alright. So let's keep going. We're pretty far into the KVGI, actually. Yeah, apparently those new GI guys, the 40 ones that do the skill attack, they did cast death sentence on me. But it didn't matter. Because we kicked their asses anyway. Of course, you know where I'm going. And down here. For a black megaphone for Grotus. Yeah, he uses megaphones. I don't know why. He uses megaphones. Just does. But anyway. Them tentacles. Basically, I think that's a bio... Bio 2 attack? Yeah, bio 2. It's a bio attack, basically. And ether. We know what they do. Heal up my MP. Yeah. <laughs> so... Hmm. The, oh, if you're wondering too right now, why am I always showing us doing the animation at the end? Uh, and then showing the experience bar? It's because, right now, as it is, it's because I want to show if uh, anybody gains levels, but mainly it's to show that if someone, you know, gains a new limit break, or magic goes up, you know, if I find a certain item. Um... Now, really, you only have to go for the middle one. When you run into these spider webs, you actually find a giant spider. And you know what the cool thing about this spider is? It's susceptible to frog song. So, if you want to have a, such an easy time, that's the frog song. And then you can wail on with magic attacks, or you can just keep pounding with physical attacks, or. If he's asleep like he is right now, um, you know, you could use Death Blow. Uh, it may take off more damage. He does have 2500 HP, but now that he's a frog, he can basically just attack you as a frog, and it will only have, you know, damage you by like one damage. So you got, and these guys can be pretty tough, or not just one damage, but you know, 31 or 30, not one damage, sorry. Uh, but it pretty much they can't damage much. At all. So, if you think you're on the level, or you don't think, or you fought these guys, and they kicked your ass, you had to, you know, reset your game and come back, or you barely bet them. If you have Fox on, which I'll show you how to get in uh, Gongaga Village, then you will actually be good. And you'll be able to use it. So, yeah. More you know kind of thing. There's really not a lot of steel down here. Oh, and there's an explosion which heals us fully. When it comes to HP, not MP of course. An elixir will do the MP and HP. Or... There's other things that do it too. But, more about that later. So, yeah. Level up. Yeah, okay. There is a way to get that item right there. I'm forgetting now how to actually get to it. So I'm probably just gonna ignore it. And... Oh yeah, look at that, we actually got 966 <laughs> and 945 for Mickey. 
Okay, actually, it's gone past that because he just leveled up. Okay, so let's go here. Now, with the spider web, you automatically have to fight these guys. This guy, this one here, is the mandatory one. And as far as I know, you cannot escape because you have to go through them to get to it. So, yeah. To save on MP, I am just going to wail on this guy's ass with physical attacks. I think they have 2500 HP or... Oh yeah, Dolby went up to 1035 HP, I'm at 1163. Uh, Nikki's close to 1000, and after this battle actually she should... 2200, I was close, I said 23, uh, 2500, but I was close. I'm gonna heal. Mainly because of Dolby and Nikki. I kind of need it. Alright. Ice 2. Then um, let's just go with physical attack. I do believe there's a boss battle coming up. Um, okay. And the only reason I'm showing this battle is just because I've been editing out a lot of the other ones. Aw, oh, Death Ball missed. That sucks. Come on, Dolby. Come on, Dolby hit with the death blow. Come on, death blow. Yes! Basically, death blow casts a critical attack. That, you know, it could cause death depending on how much uh, damage. There's no HP they got left. Okay, so to get over here. Oh, wait, to get this treasure chest, this is the way, it's the other treasure chest that I think I'm having an issue with. Nope, I guess it's that one. Nope, that's, this is one. There it is. Uh, Fairy Ring, yes, this is the item I was thinking, uh, just thinking of. Fairy Ring protects, yeah, poison and darkness, which actually is pretty good in this area. So now no enemies can poison or cause darkness on uh, Nikki. Isn't that great? If only there was an item that could protect against most almost all status items like poison and darkness and things like that. Sadly, we have no such item right now. Oh okay, we got a limit break, which is great. Uh, I do believe there's another spider web. But let's just level up. Yes. So actually, I was wrong when I said there was only one mandatory spider. There's actually two. Uh, this guy here is mandatory too. And... I guess I'll show it off? Nah. So we're back. And I did not actually use the limit point. But there's a reason. Like I said, there's an upcoming boss battle, if I'm correct. And now this is the point where I want to actually... Um... Heal, I think. And... Um... Uh, that might help. Uh, let's see. Alright. That should do it for now. I think I think that's good. <coughs> for starters. Of course I got more ethers and I got a turbo ether one turbo ether for the boss battle, so it should be okay. I just have a feeling there's a boss battle. Okay, I know there's a boss battle, so there is a boss battle. He's not too hard either. I remember the first time I ever played this game back in like nineteen ninety seven when it came out. I bet this guy in the first try. So, it's not hard, if you're well prepared. So... This can be... So, we actually had to face a boss. Now, contrary to what you think... I could cause some uh, little to but uh, I never really a good idea. Yeah, these guys will actually cast fire too on themselves sometimes to heal. Big God is actually a good idea. 
Uh, fire team is really not the best idea. Well, fire team, I think, will work. On uh, the guy in the back. I if I'm... I don't think it's gonna work. Is this the guy I'm thinking of that you can actually use, uh, a Phoenix down on? There is a boss... Yeah, I'm sorry, I never really understood what this takeover does. I think I have to want actually cast uh, Fire 2 or something and damage it. I think. But it doesn't cause like a death sentence or anything. I just don't think this is actually going to work right now. This. I think you can. Yeah, see? Fire 2. But it was kind of reduced a bit due to the fact of us having big god on some diamond dust. I think there was a name of a zone in Sonic 3D Blast, wasn't it? Diamond Dust Zone or Diamond Something Zone? It's the only zone in Sonic 3D Blast. I totally forget now if it's Diamond Dust Zone or... You know, maybe I'll put an annotation in this video if that actually is, whatever the correct one is. I don't think quite that gonna work. Ice 2 is actually kind of a good idea. But like I said, this guy's actually not too bad. Death blow. Look at the Ninamoodle. It's like, I'm dizzy. Alright. Judge me both. Hmm, <laughs> my iPad just went off the back of it for an email, so you might not have heard it. And it really doesn't matter. Who's casting this? Oh, Mickey. That's right. Mickey's casting this. Thousand. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, you can kill those little, like, soul things or whatever they're called. But I think he can actually bring them back. So. Aqualong. That might do a bit of damage, actually. Shiva again. Like I said, I did a bit of leveling and grinding before we in, in the Cosmo Canyon last video. If you recall, I started the video and then I said I saw some of the battles and then I buggy broke down. But yeah. Aqualong. This might do damage. Dependent nope, no damage. So uh Water does not affect him. Okay, well, now we know that water is not effective against this guy. It seems like lightning is effective though against those you know, pile of things that he has, but. Which I think, like I said, I think he can resummon those. But I don't think fire is really good. Uh, I'm going to... Oh wait, I should definitely not defend. Sensor, yep. And maybe use... Big Guard? I'm trying to decide what to do here. 15, okay, he's almost dead anyway. Holy match against his real big weakness. Um, yeah, not defend. Um, pick up, yeah, pick up. Okay, pick up. Oh, jeez. Ah. I forgot all about Toby there. I was trying to decide what to do with Nikki there. I forgot all about Toby. Yeah, I was right. He can bring them back. Don't you dare kill Dolby.
Okay, we're good. Because I'm probably just going to... Way beam him. Let's finish him off. Way beam. Yeah, this is definitely gonna finish him off. Hey, yeah. You don't have to worry about getting a fire, guys. As long as you kill GI Meta in the background, two fire ones with the star line will automatically die. So they need him. So I oh I got Clean Hazard or some people call it Car Hazard. Same thing. Still part of Limit Break 2. This is the second one in Limit Break 2. It's a pretty effective move, actually. And it looks like we also picked up a... Well, we're going to pick up a new material. Gravity material. Okay, so you won't be seeing any more fighting in this video now. Because... There's going to be a nice bit of storyline. And we did pick up a new weapon for Nikki, so it's all good. It's all good. Alright. Yep. Apparently The warrior who fought against the G uh he Okay. I was thinking okay, so there was a warrior that prevented them. You know what? It'd be so cool if it was actually Dobie's father. <laughs> you know, be just like, take that, Dobie. You didn't like your father. Look at, <laughs> look at that. It is his father. Look at your father, the warrior, great warrior Sito. So his father did was not a coward. His father did protect Cosmo Canyon. It looks like he was turned to. It looks like he was turned to stone though. Hmm, it's kind of sad. Man, that's Sito. Yep, to protect this canyon. Poisonous arrows took them, so he got petrified. Did anybody really ever think of casting, you know, soft on him, putting uh, throwing, uh, a piece of soft on him, or casting a suit or something? To, like, kind of get rid of the status effect? Nah, they probably didn't think of that. Well, maybe they did, and it didn't work because it was not caused by magic, but it was caused by a dot or an arrow. The two of them maybe partner. So he's mother to you. Okay. Ah, uh, sure, why not? So apparently, okay, here's a good thing though. You do not have to travel back by yourself. The gap would be kind of cruel. Would be, probably would be hard, but it'd be kind of cruel for the game to kind of make you go through that big battle with Gian Meta, especially if you're struggling against it, and then have yourself and who we picked, in this case Nikki, and myself go through the cave, you know, down the party level and make your way back. So, good thing is they don't make you do that. Oh, so it's only going to postpone. Yes, but uh, postponing the inevitable tongue twister that well, is better than not trying. You gotta try. So we might as well try. This is thing we do. Something to help the planet already in misery. Is it? Yeah. See, I just said that. Uh, am I too? I'm sure that's fate. Hmm. Good question. <sighs> Give me a few minutes. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Phone calls. You know, they end up happening during your videos sometimes, so. Not saying who it was. <laughs> but. Yep. Someone called you on a video. <laughs> But let's see. Let's continue on with this though. Okay. Uh, 
Alright. I will say this. <laughs> so if I continue on for a few more minutes or a few more seconds. I think we're gonna be done with the Cosmo Canyon and you know at first I thought that you know Dovi was gonna leave, but I I have a feeling that Dovi's not going anywhere. I have a feeling that he is gonna be sticking around with our with our group. Apparently Sito is still alive in you know he's stone, so man, wouldn't you be kind of starving hung uh, really hungry right now if you're able to you know cry like that because you know, turn to stone while you are alive? I don't know. But anyway, apparently he still has the ability to cry. <laughs> Come on, can't there be elixirs that you're crying cry there so I can pick him up? No, sadly not. Elixirs would be cool, ethers, you know. Oh well, sadly they are not. But, anyway. The scene is ending. I assume that this might be the last we see of Dolby. Who knows? Shall we get going? So, this is it. There it goes. You came in handy at times. So, obviously I'm going back to my original party. Nikki and Jaxio. Sorry Colette, Zio, and Glotus. I will be using those characters eventually. Right now, I want to stick with these three. And these two with me. For the time being. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to automatically be healed. Uh, when we leave Cosmo Canyon. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But, anyway, let's leave. Wait, oh, so Dolby is coming with us. It kind of makes sense, because I just looked at my material and I knew I was missing material. And it was material that he just had. So, I'm not really surprised that he's actually uh, coming with. Okay. But I think I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll continue on. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next part. Peace out.